Hi everybody, welcome back. It's been a week, no sign of my FlexiTrack or my DCC Concepts foam that I've ordered to put for kind of the track underlay, if you want to call it like that. And what have I been doing? Not a huge amount. Well, I did actually go out after making the last video and I wanted to look for some foam to put into these drawers, the Halford tool storage, tool set, storage trolley thing. That's what I was looking for. And so I found a place that could make or cut foam to size and I made a bit of an error. I didn't check what color it was gonna be. And guess what? Here it is. It is a rather striking turquoisey blue. Now this was classed as high density foam. Uh, as you can see, it's, yeah, I'm not sure it's really high density foam. What I was really looking for was something more akin to this, which is like a foam. You can push it. Um, it looks like it can be cut. I mean, I don't know how, I mean, as I said, this was purchased by this company, uh, Parkwood Arts Limited, which I believe no longer exists. And they did a really lovely way of cutting this out. I don't know how they carved, how they actually carved that, because you can see it was kind of carved round. It looks really nice. This is what I was looking for. I was hoping to get something like this. My plan was then to cut out and glue, I guess you could call it, some bits and pieces. But anyway, I've ended up with this. But if anybody knows where I can purchase something similar to that, please leave me a comment because this is ideal. This is exactly what I want to do, although I was planning to sort of cut it out more square uh, and straight down and have like a five mil piece at the bottom and glue it basically to the bottom. So it's kind of, yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, let me um, see if I can start cutting this foam that I've got to size to fit in this tool chest. So stage one, my measurements work. The foam actually fits the drawer, which is quite nice. I haven't pushed it there to latch. Do you have to do something like that? It does actually fit in, which is brilliant. So the idea behind that is I want to be able to put enough kind of holes in there to store all these buttes uh, and that 108 at the back. So I need to do a little bit of measuring. I have got a rather large steel rule and I bought for the occasion a brand new knife. The idea behind it, I want to be able to cut in one fell swoop. Uh, and because these things go blunt, got a couple of additional blades to go with it. So let's just see what I can achieve. This is a mock-up, really, of what I'm looking to achieve, although I know they are off on a little bit of a wonky angle. This is kind of where I'd like to be able to cut the holes, if I can cut the holes, I need to sort of measure it out and mark them. I want to ensure that I don't go, I don't sort of miss out those ends where my KDs are. So obviously I'm going to put a little line along here, sort of measure the front that I want to go for, and then you can see that the actual trains themselves actually are all slightly different lengths. So that's kind of what I'm hoping to achieve. Let's see if I can achieve it. I can tell you already that I have made a mistake. The foam I purchased, I got it for the depth of the shelf and realistically that is way too high. So as you can see, the loco is going to sit quite a long way beneath that, which means I need to trim those down somewhat to make it easier to access. The other thing is, I'm obviously getting a bit of a rough edge on the on the foam. Uh, I'm assuming that if you use weirdly that side, cut out reasonably well. That side did not. Not quite sure why. But yeah, so I'm gonna have to kind of cut these down, I think, a little bit. See if I can probably cut them out using um, something just to make it so there's not quite so high, so it's easy to get your fingers into. Get hold of the loco. Anyway, we'll carry on. Okay, 
so I have done, yeah, I'd say a really bad job. The plan, so the actual top looks pretty good. I mean, it looks like, uh, if you don't look too close, it looks like you've got a bit of a gap, but it all looks pretty good. But then when you look underneath, it is pretty dreadful. Um, yeah, I would imagine somebody would leave me a comment and say, you should use a hot knife. Uh, yeah, uh, if you can use hot, hot knife with these, can you hot, use hot knife with any kind of foam? That probably would have made a much better finish to it. So it is done, I mean it's, uh, ooh. yeah, some of them have got to be made a little bit longer because some of the locomotives are longer than that, but uh, for protective storage it will do for the time being, I mean as you can see I've got, I've got nothing to run it on, so it's going to sit there for a while, I've got to see if I can get rid of some of this debris that's sort of lingering around because I don't want to get that into any of the moving parts and I just need to do a little bit of an adjustment to the back there so I can get the 108 in. But I'm not going to do the rest at the moment until I find a better method of cutting this. So that could be YouTubing and I will probably email the company that I purchased this from and ask them if they've got any better solution for doing it. So that's the end of this video, small update. And obviously some of that stuff is going to be whisk through fast forward and maybe even not showing because it's pretty poor but I would like to say thank you very much for watching if you're new to the channel please do hit the subscribe button and see what other cock-ups I can achieve whilst trying to make this model railway in a garage thanks for watching keep yourself safe keep yourself well it's goodbye for me for now